Ford ultimatum. Ford gives dealers six weeks to make up their mind. If they don't want to sell EVs, they are fired. Ford is telling its dealer network that they must invest, evolve, improve, and offer new services if they want to continue selling Ford models in the future. Ford has divided their business into three divisions. Model E is a brand new division that was created just to sell electric vehicles. The other two divisions are Ford Blue Oval and Ford Pro. CEO Jim Farley talked about Tesla and how the startup electric vehicle manufacturer has roughly a $2,000 price advantage over Ford. He said that Ford and its dealers need to narrow that gap. He explained how he believes that as Tesla scales up, they will be forced to change how they do business. Their business operations have to look more like traditional dealer networks. Farley believes he sees this already when it comes up to Tesla's operations in Norway. With that, he also believes that Ford needs to change the way it sells electric vehicles, and the first major steps to that transformation is happening right now. Three options. Ford is giving its dealers until the end of October this year, less than two months, to make a decision that will have huge implications for the future of the franchise. Ford is giving dealers three choices. Number one, become a Model E certified elite dealership. Number two, become a Model E certified dealership. Number three, quit as dealers and don't sell any electric vehicles from 2024. At a minimum, Model E elite dealers will need to install two high-powered DC fast chargers and have a level 2 charging station, as well as offer at least one DC fast charger available for the public to use. Ford estimates the all-in-one cost for dealers to become Model E certified elite to be between $1 and $1.2 million dollars with as much as 90% of the cost attributed to the cost to purchase and install the required charging infrastructure. Model E certified dealers are only required to install one DC fast charger, and it must be made available for public use. However, Model E dealers will have a hard cap on the number of electric vehicles they are allowed to sell each year, and that number will be the same for all Model E shops, regardless of annual volume. Ford told us that it hasn't decided exactly what that number will be, but it will be small and intended to only satisfy orders for the dealer's most loyal customers. Ford estimates the cost for dealers to become Model E certified will be about $500,000. Again, with as much as 90% of the cost attributed to charging infrastructure. We've been studying Tesla closely, especially with how their brand has scaled with units and operations in Norway. And what we've noticed is that they have almost 1,200 employees now, and they have very dealer-like facilities, and we think that's the direction they'll go as they scale their operations in the United States. This was stated by Jim Farley, CEO of Ford Motor Company. The last option for dealers is to not become Model E certified at all. If they choose that option, they give up the right to sell any fully electric Ford vehicles for three years. They do not get fired at once, and they can by 2025 reapply for a Model E dealership. This first stage of Model E evolution will start from January 1, 2024, and last out till 2026, the decision dealerships make now will affect through 2026 and dealers cannot change their Model E certification status until 2027. All dealers will continue to be able to sell electric vehicles until January 2024 when the new Model E rules begin. Model E dealerships will be built on five strategies. Number one, training. Dealers will need to undergo extensive EV training on an ongoing basis. Number two, charging. Model E dealers must have adequate level two and DC fast charging with at least one DC fast charger available to the public. Number three, set pricing. Transparent, non-negotiable pricing available online. Number four, excellent physical experience. 
Model E dealers must deliver an excellent ownership experience, including complimentary pickup and drop off for vehicle service visits. Number five, develop digital experience. Invest in building a digital ownership experience for the future. When Ford announced the creation of Ford Model E, some speculated that one of the purposes may be to try to implement a hybrid version. Of a direct sales model in which customers would order their electric vehicles directly from Ford but take delivery from a local dealer. That idea is, of course, tempting for Ford, but the dealer franchise laws are very clear, and Ford cannot sell vehicles to consumers directly even if they wanted to. The only reason EV upstarts like Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid Can and even these companies are banned from selling electric cars in some states, is because they don't have an existing network of dealerships as Ford does. Ford believes its dealer network is a strength, not a weakness. They just need to improve the sales process and customer experience with electric vehicles, and that's exactly what Model E aims to do. The new rules for dealerships require dealers to post set prices for the electric vehicles. Online at Ford's website, customers can view the set pricing, complete the purchase online, and even schedule home delivery. But ultimately, it's the dealer's decision what the set pricing will be for the vehicles, and there will likely be price variation from dealer to dealer. Customers will be able to cross shop different local dealer prices online, and then choose the one with the lowest set price. The dealers must honor the set pricing for every purchase, and Ford will be checking the purchase orders to make sure that happens. This new system gives the customer the option of doing everything online and eliminates the need to visit the dealership. Of course, if the customer prefers to visit the dealership, kick the tires and complete the purchase agreement in person. They are still welcome to do so. However, it will be for the same price. They could have purchased it online from the Ford.com website. The dealers cannot change the price once it's set. A huge and most expensive part of the Model E certification is the requirement for dealers to provide DC fast chargers with a minimum output of 120 kilowatts. The chargers must be readily accessible on the property and available to the public. This requirement was important because a lot of EV owners and future EV owners live in apartments and cannot charge at home. This will be a competitive advantage for Ford as they can tell their customers that there is a charging point near them. That's because Ford currently has 2,991 dealerships in the U.S. and 96% of Americans live within 25 miles of a Ford dealership. And 85% live within 10 miles. Let's round up. This sounds like a good plan, but are Ford dealers really ready to spend so much money for retaining their dealerships? If just 50% choose to become a Model E certified dealer, then the other part of the plan will fail. There will not be enough charging points for the strategy where EV owners can easily find a charging point near them. What do you think? Will this strategy be a genius move by Ford and CEO Jim Farley? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. That was all for now. But before we end this video, I highly recommend that you watch the video about Neo delivering cars without batteries. That was all for now. See you in the next video.